Hello, home learning heroes. Welcome back again to Mr. Donald's YouTube channel, Home Learning Heroes. You can be a hero at your own home. Today we're going to do another reader's theater. One of my favorite things to do because you get to tell a story and you get to play the parts. So if you have some friends or family at home that want to join in, that's great. If not, maybe you and I can do it together. The story I picked today is called The Three Billy Goats Gruff. Now, I bet you already have heard this story before. So we're gonna have a lot of fun and there's lots of characters to do. So let's take a look. First, we have a character page. We have two narrators again. Again, I'll make this bigger so you can see me. Two narrators and I've split the parts so maybe I can do one and you can do one at home with me. Then we also have three Billy Goats. We have Big Brother Billy Goat, Middle Brother Billy Goat, and Little Brother Billy Goat. Do you have any big brothers or little brothers? There's one other character who's my favorite and it is the Stinky Troll. Pee look at him, ugly stinky troll. So we will take turns, maybe um, decide which characters you want to play and we can read it together. Remember when we do Reader's Theater, we have a lot of energy in our voice to make it really fun. Okay, let's begin. The first part goes to both narrators, that's you and me, and we can read together with the dot. Here we go. The story of the three Billy Goats Gruff. Now, my narrator voice is nice and calm and clear. Okay, narrator one. Maybe I'll take this part. You can read along, though. Once upon a time, there are three Billy Goats. Biggest Brother Billy, Middle Brother Billy, and Little Brother Billy. But now this is your turn. You read along too. They want to cross a bridge to get to the tasty grass on the other side. Good. Oh, my turn again. Little Brother Billy crosses the bridge first. So there he goes across. And what kind of sound do you hear as he goes across that wooden bridge with his hooves? We have it here. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. You can almost imagine him just clunking over that bridge. All right, now we have the stinky troll part. And for a stinky troll, I can definitely use a nice stinky troll voice, I think. As long as it's clear and I can hear it. Here we go. Who is crossing my bridge? I'm going to eat you up. That's a good, scary voice. Now we have the character of Little Brother Billy. And maybe he's little, and little might have a nice, soft, small voice. Please don't eat me, Mr. Troll. I'm too little. Wait for my bigger brother to cross next. He is fatter. All right. Narrator goes back to your normal voice. So little brother Billy can cross the bridge. And there he is on the other side. All right, narrator two. Middle Brother Billy crosses the bridge next. And there he goes. Do you remember what sound he makes as he goes over that bridge? Let's do it together. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. All right, stinky troll time again. Get that stinky voice going, ready? Who is crossing my bridge? I'm going to eat you up. And he pops out, I like that. The middle brother, Billy, might have a nice uh, round voice. Please don't eat me, Mr. Troll. I'm too little. Wait for my bigger brother to cross next. He is fatter. Mm. Now the narrator goes back to a calm, clear voice. So middle brother, Billy, can cross the bridge. And now we have two on one side. So the next person to come across will be the biggest. Let's read. Biggest brother Billy crosses the bridge last. Now what do you know about big brother Billy? 
He's big. He must have some big hooves. Let's do a big trip trap. Trip trap, trip trap, trip trap. Good. Over he goes. All right, stinky troll time. Do it with me. Who is crossing my bridge? I'm going to... Dot, dot, dot. What do you think happens? Look at the picture. I think the troll... I, I knew it. Let's read. You can't eat me, you stinky troll. That's a big, strong voice for a big brother. And then, BAM! I am the biggest and strongest brother. He hit the troll with his big, strong horns. All right. What happens next? It's up for you to decide. Let's read the question. What happened next? You tell the ending to the story. Now remember, we have all these characters here, so you can use them in your telling. I want you to get creative and think of all the interesting things that might happen to the troll or maybe to the billy goats. What could they do? How does our story end? You can tell me. All right, that's the end. Till next time, thank you so much for joining me for Reader's Theater, and I hope to see you again soon. Come back and look, because I'll have some more for us to do. Bye-bye for now.